The Fire Smart program is based on reducing wildfire hazard towards not only the community but also the personal homeowner. So largely based upon fuel reduction, fuel management and making your house more resistant to fire. My previous roof on my home was cedar shakes unprotected. So this has served itself well 27 years now and it's starting to disintegrate as you can see. So it was time for a new roof. And when it's time for a new roof, maybe give a non-combustible roof some uh, thought in that process. Most homes in a wildfire event burn as a result of embers seeding onto the roof of cedar shaked homes. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply heat to all these different types of roofing materials. The tin, the asphalt, the concrete, and the cedar shake which was removed from my roof. And we'll do that by direct flame contact with the propane torch. The asphalt clearly withstand the heat and the cedar shake which is easily ignited on direct flame contact. When your roof is due replacement, we highly recommend that you go to a non-combustible type roof. So either metal, asphalt, concrete, ceramic tile, or a pressure treated wood roof would be the best. Don't light your own home on fire. Any wood burning fire appliance that you have, make sure it's screened in on all chimneys. That way it's not depositing embers on your own roof. Another couple items that are easy for the homeowner Clean out your eaves troughs annually. Embers can get in here and actually ignite this material and ignite the wood underneath, even under a combustible or non-combustible roof. The other one is make sure your wood burning chimneys are cleaned out annually. Correct disposal of ash is another key thing. What we want to do is keep fire in the fireplace. So when you scoop out your ashes, put it in a non-combustible pail. Once it's in there, Water it down. Make sure it's out. That's the key. Then, once it's cold, throw it away. Landscaping choices are really important, especially adjacent to the home. That first 10 meters away from your home, there should be no coniferous. So no pine, no spruce, no juniper. We prefer to encourage deciduous growth, something with leaves. Plant a juniper under the eaves of your home and it actually is quite explosive and we can demonstrate that with a flame test. I'll apply heat to each of these. Quite resistive. The spruce actually starts to take on a little flame. And you can see what a juniper does. Make sure that all under decks and under roofs, the eaves and the soffits are all closed in. That'll prevent embers from extending into dried lumber where it can ignite your home again. At one point, I used to store my firewood along this wall, and now I've moved it to the other end of the property where it's no longer an ignition risk for my home. Back here, I've placed rocks down, non-combustible. The fire can come up to here. This way, the home protects itself. Cedar siding, especially rough cut cedar siding, probably isn't the best way to go. A non-combustible siding might be a better idea. Glass, when you think about glass, either double pane or tempered, we find that single pane glass actually breaks as a result of heat from the fire. So remember, either tempered, it remains in place, or double pane. Should bad things occur, every homeowner should have enough hose and a sprinkler system to be deployed up on the roof in order to pre-wet your roof and the surrounding area to suppress embers. Should they land, they will be extinguished or at least put out. With this sprinkler I've devised, we can deploy this right from the ground onto the roof. In the event of a disaster, it's imperative you have your own emergency survival kit. And that should include water, food, 
blankets, toiletries, and especially your prescription meds if required. Remember, 72 hours, be prepared to be on your own. So that's all it takes. A little time, a little effort, and not necessarily a lot of money. That's how you fire smart your home. Climate change is affecting our weather patterns and we must learn to adapt. Uh, we've had a very mild and dry winter and predictions are for a dry summer, which means an increased risk of wildfire. And the Fire Smart program helps to prevent these wildfires. We commend and we encourage programs like Fire Smart because we believe they're a step in the right direction in helping Canadians adapt to climate change. Research by the Institute for Catastrophic Loss Reduction and supported by the insurance companies across Canada shows that there are actions that homeowners can take to protect their family and their property from wildfires. In particular, the FireSmart program is Canada's national program for wildfire safety. The program is backed by governments across Canada, insurance companies and others interested in reducing the risk of wildfire damage.